open um, price is the price of the stock when the market opens. The closed price is the price of the stock when the market closes. The high price is the highest um, price that the stock gets to. And the low price is the lowest price that the stock gets. And the real body is what they call the part of the candlestick between the open and the close. Um, then they call the upper shadow, which, which marks the high value, and the low, lower shadow that marks the low value. Um, a hollow candlestick means that the stock closes higher than the open price, so it gained in value. Um, a filled-in candlestick means that the stock closes lower than the opening price, so that meant that it lost value. So um, long versus short candlesticks. So a long uh, hollow candlesticks in indicate strong buy pressure because the closed price is much higher than the open price. However, on the other hand, short uh, hollow candlesticks indicate weak buying pressure because the close is only a little above the uh, open price. Uh, long black candlesticks indicate strong selling pressure because the closed price is much lower than the open price. And a short black candlestick can keep weak buying pressure because the close price is a little low. So there are many types of candlestick charts. Um, one of them is called Meribozu, and basically they don't have any upper or lower shadows. Instead, the high and low price are exactly equal to the open and close one. And as you can see, there are no shadows which they are. So this is pretty very fair compared to the other ones. Uh, spinning top have real small small real body which is here and they have long upper and lower shadows. So they represent indecision in the market because neither the buyers nor sellers could gain the upper hand. Um, as a result the closing price was very similar to the open price. Um, Doji they're actually um, Many specific types of doji, but overall the doji, um, the open and close values are nearly identical. Um, so the length of the shadows can vary. Like here, they're very small, but in reality, they can be very up long. So um, after an uptrend in the stock price, a doji can uh, indicate that the buy pressure is starting to weaken. Um, after decline in the stock price. A doji can indicate that selling pressure is starting to weaken and decline in certain ends. So a specific type of doji is called the dragonfly doji. So the high, close, and open are exactly equal. And there's a long lower shadow, which means that there was um, a low or low value. Um, it indicates that sellers had control in the beginning because that it reached the low. However, towards the end of the day, the buyers took back control because the close value was actually back up. Uh, the gravestone doji is basically the opposite. Um, the open, close, and low prices are exactly the same, and there's a long upper shadow because there was a high. So it indicates that buyers dominated at first, but towards the end, the sellers pushed the prices back down. All right, so this is an example uh, for Home Depot. And um, so this is an example of a Dragonfly Doji. And um, you can see that the stock price is starting to increase. And once it hit the Dragonfly Doji, the prices start to decrease. And um, these are some more examples. And the Gravestone Doji is, um, so there was an increase in stock prices. Uh, then there's a Gravestone Doji, however, the stock prices continue to rise. So it doesn't really represent anything there. It was just a continuation of a trend instead of a reversal like here, and then increase the need. So this is an example of Maribel Zoo where there's no shadows. Um, here's another Goji. Spinning top represents a decision, and you can see the stock prices dropped and the spinning top is here, and after that, the stock price has started to rise. So the indecision was uh, people finally made up their mind what they were going to do, and that is, we're going to buy it. Yep. And, um, yep. So reversal patterns are basically when stock prices increase, then they start to increase, or if they decrease, they start to increase. 
And one of the patterns is called the hammer. So a hammer forms after a decline in stock prices, and it marks a potential bullish trend. A bullish trend is basically a, the increase in stock prices. Um, so the long shadow here uh, shows that sellers drove prices down to the low, and then towards the end of the day, the buyers drove prices back up. And uh, this shows that buy pressure is starting to increase despite the decline. So basically, before this, stock prices were declining rapidly. However, as stock prices declined, at the end of the day, stock prices went back up. So this shows that there could be a potential trend first. However, there has to be confirmation after. If there's no confirmation, then it's just a continuation in the trend. So this is real quick.